Amen. You need to claim this, the blood of Jesus to heal the things in your life that are affecting your walk with God. Amen. And you need to push yourself to be the best you can be in where you're going. You need to visualize yourself as the best in what you do. You know, we, I, I have a work, a job that sometimes it's frustrating dealing with management, dealing with all these things. But I represent the King of Kings. And I have to be the best. I always think I have to put up the best numbers. And I don't get paid anymore. My performance gives my supervisor a raise. But it doesn't matter to me because I represent the King of Kings yeah. and Lord of Lords. And I have to be the best at what I do because He has put me there. And I have to show testimony that there is a God inside of me that lives. Amen. 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 I tell them all the time, my supervisors know, when there was overtime, I tell them, I need to go to church. I need to do this. I need to do that. Right now, they're, 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 they're worried. For some reason, they, they, most supervisors don't even care. They pull me into the office, and then we know they changed my shift this week from 1 to 9. I'm not going to be able to come on Wednesday. So you need to come for me. And then tell me on Sundays what happened on Wednesday. And they're always telling me, are you okay? We know that we're, we're, we're interfering with your church. You know, we know that we do this, but you know there's nothing else we can do. And they start explaining to me, if we do this, if we do that. And I tell them, it doesn't matter. I'm like, you guys could do, you do your job, you know. God will take care of me. I, I joke with them, like, you know, God's going to burn this place down. I'm joking around. Like, oh. you, know, like, you guys need to be careful. And, and all of a sudden, I mean, to the point where, you know, at first some of them would cuss, and now they excuse themselves when they cuss. You need to represent God to where people respect the God that lives inside of you. Amen. 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 He is calling you this morning to be healed. To seek His presence, to follow His word, and live a life with the certainty that He is in control and that you know exactly where you're, you're headed in life. Now when I mean in control is that you're saying, God, what is the best direction where I should go? Is this the best decision for me? Is this the best thing that I should do? And wherever I go, Lord, bless me. Where do you find yourself this morning? Have you been forgiven by the blood of Jesus? Are you being healed by His blood? Are you hurt by things that have happened in your life? Let God minister to your life. Let God take those pains and hurts away from your life. Seek His presence. Because there's nothing better in this life. The, the smallest things that I... I think the best decision I ever did in my life was give my life to Christ at a young age. I didn't know much. But somewhere along the way, I saw it in my family. I saw a testimony that God did exist. And I, I just dove right in. I tell you guys, I'm preaching here like I was 15 years ago when I first got up in Sunnyside, Washington. Knowing that I'll do anything for the Lord. You know, there's times, it's, sometimes it's hard but God can give you everything. I see my life now and said, Lord, there's everything that you promised me, everything that I knew that you can give me, you have given me. And all I had to do was be faithful to you. All I had to do was say, yes, Lord, I put myself aside for you. I'm not going to do what the world's doing. I'm not even going to do what the other Christians think is okay to do. I'm not going to mix myself with the world in those little things that they do. I will set myself completely aside for you. And one day I'm going to reap the benefits. As I grew 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and all these different things came my way. And it was hard to preserve yourself for God and completely set yourself aside. And when I say completely, I mean completely set yourself aside for God. God bless me in such a way I have the best wife, the best kids. I'm living the best life you can have. You know what? I don't, I told her, I've reached the top, and I haven't, I'm only 30. Where more can God take you? Where more can God take you if you're faithful right now? If you say, God, I'm going to take that next step in my life. I'm going to set myself aside for you. I'm going to set myself aside for your presence to do your will, to do what you want me to do. Are you willing to say, God, I am here. God, do those things. 
that you, I know you can do. I remember the youth back in the days used to question me about a lot of things. I, mean, I didn't start dating until I was 20 years old and even then the only person I ever committed to was my wife. And they would tell me, that's exa an exaggeration. That's too much. But I knew God was going to give me the best for my life if I gave him my best. And when I look back, I'm like, it wasn't even my best. But he rewarded me a thousandfold. What will God do in your life if you give him your best? How will he reward you if you surrender to his presence? Amen. 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 Let's stand. Father God, we just thank you for this morning, Lord. We thank you for your word, Father God. Maybe there's many of us here today that are wounded, that are walking hurt, that are feel weak, that are losing blood. Lord, I, we call out to you, Father God. Heal our hearts, Lord. Heal those past pains and hurts. We no longer want to react in the way that we do, Father God. You have crowned us with honor and glory, Lord. We want to live and give you honor and glory with the way we live our lives, Lord. Transform us, Father God. Renew our minds, Lord. Give us that passion, that thirst to seek your presence. Give us that hunger to read your word, to come to the Bible studies and seek everything that you want to teach us, Father God. Maybe there's a lot of pollution in our life, Lord. Maybe there's sin that's affecting our lives. Forgive us, Father God, for those sins. Forgive us for the things that we do that push your presence away. Forgive us, Lord, because we don't honor you with the things that we do. Lift us up now, Father God. Lift us up this morning. So when we leave this place, Lord, we leave with a renewed mind, a renewed spirit to seek you more. Thank you, God. Because you're calling all of us to a different level in our lives. You're calling all of us here to do something new for your glory and for your honor. Yes. Some of you are being called to preach his word. Some of you are being called to take his Jesus, that blood of Jesus, that message of Jesus Christ to the lost. And for the longest time you have ignored his calling. God is reminding you this morning, you have been called you need to accept it. And the blessing will come. Yes, Lord. Father God, give us that strength to push forward. Give us that strength when we feel weak. Give us that strength when we want to just give up, Father God. And help us in our time of need, Lord. And in this moment, Lord, fill us with your presence right now, Father God, so that we know that this word that you gave us this morning is going to be alive and well as soon as we leave this place. We are the sons and daughters of the King of kings and Lord of lords. Let's walk and act like that prince, that princess that God is calling to walk upon this earth. We are the salt of the world, says the word of God. Let us give this world flavor, the flavor of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this morning, for your word, for your worship, for your presence, Father God. We praise your name. We lift your name on high. Thank you, Jesus.